This session is going to focus on Dev Partner's Code Coverage Analysis Tool. Code coverage is the ability to execute your application, whether it be command line or GUI driven, and have metrics reported back, such as these on the screen here, to let you know what percentage of your overall lines have been executed and methods have been called, respectively. So it gives you a, a good overview and a good grasp at how much of your code has actually been invoked and run through its course before it goes to a formal QA group or out the door into production depending on your organization and your roles. The tool starts with Dev Partner Coverage Analysis, the little paint roller here for coverage. Also on the toolbar you can choose from here with this icon with a tooltip to show me to select runtime code coverage analysis. This tool supports managed applications, your .NET web or Win applications, as well as native C++ applications. What you would need to do here if you're working with an exclusively with a native C++ application or if you have native C++ components being combined with managed in a mixed mode application would be to go into the native C++ instrumentation manager, choose instrumenting the projects, coverage analysis, you'll see performance or coverage because the same analysis or instrumentation works for both and then choose check the box on or off for the specific projects that you want to focus on that you want to include in your code coverage analysis session Now that's the one other step or actually two other steps would be first identifying those components and then doing another build of your solution injecting that instrumentation into those C++ components whether it's executable DLL or a combination of. <clears throat> Once you've done that then whether it's native C++, managed code, .NET application, Win or Web, or a combination of, you would start them the same way. Now this tool, just like any of the other tools within Dev Partner Studio, can also be executed by the command line. So you can build these into your processes. You can have overnight builds with this included. You can have these kicked off via a automated functional testing tool of some sort. Just keep in mind that you can run this through the GUI, but also from the command line where where needs may have for that. So I can go into Dev Partner Coverage Analysis, start up the application, and then as this is starting up my application, as I can see here, I also have snapshot buttons, these blue ones here that we'll come back and mention in a second, but I just want to point those out. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to my application. And then what we're doing is we're actually collecting metrics to let me know what lines and methods of my code have I invoked. Now as I'm going through, we're making these metrics increase, obviously, because we're increasing the number of lines and methods that we're executing. So I'm going to go through here, add this to shopping cart check availability, select a customer, and submit an order. Order has been entered, hit OK, and at this point I could create a snapshot, stop, or clear the buffer if I choose to. Or I could simply just go kill the application. Since I've completed the run that I want to do here, I can just stop the app and we'll force up a result set. Now once it's done, this is what the result set looks like. I'm going to close out this output window. And then what I have here are the metrics that I've invoked with these lines and methods. So I can go here on the left hand side, open up the source directory where I can see that overall I've gained almost 27 percent, as I can see here at these metric bars too of my lines have been executed. I can mouse over each individual component that was included and see some that have not been tested at all in my application and I have some here that have 24 percent of this one, 28 percent, and so on. I also have filters where I can choose to see all methods that have not been covered at all and if you notice the covered column on the right actually here in the middle is showing zero percent 
methods less than 20% covered, and anything over 30 lines in length less than 10% covered. So that way I can have these pointed out to know which ones I need to focus on. I can go in here also and sort ascending or descending on any of these columns as well as choose other columns and these are the different columns that I can choose to add or remove then here since I have this sorted in descending fashion I can see that all of these methods have been touched hundred percent so that means all the methods have been called all these lines have been executed so as I scroll I'm gonna see that minimize start to reduce 90s 80s 70s 60s and then once I get here, here's one that's been partially covered that I can go into further. So I have my insert order, 70, a little under 71% coverage has been called once, and there's still 12 lines that have not been executed. So I'll double click on that, and it takes me into the code level. So this is how this can really help, because you can get the overall metrics from a QA point of view, but you also can get the line level details from a development point of view to help from a, a few different perspectives, which I'll cover real quick. You can see there's three colors here. We have the grayed out color, which is for declarations and comments. We have a green color, which represents code that is live, executable code, and it has been touched or executed one time, as the count column shows. Then finally, we have a purple code, which is live executable code that has yet to be invoked or executed or touched. And the count column reflects that by being zero. So this can really benefit from a few different perspectives. It gives you the way of going in and knowing, first of all, as advertised, these are my testing metrics. This is what's been covered. This is what is not. This is non-executable code. It's not a part of the equation. That's one way. The second way would be for debugging. Because let's say, because who knows the code better than those who create it and maintain it? No one. So you being in control of that, you know this application in and out, and it gives you the ability to go in, in this example that is, and say, wait a minute, I know that I created another order number, but this code is showing me that it didn't take place, it didn't execute. So it's actually helping you find those needle in the haystack situations from a debugging sense to find out what needs to be remedied, and in this case, report back that this call did not take place. Another example may be, maybe you have a for loop of some sort, and there's a reiteration that you need to go and track, so you can focus on this count column to see if it only ran through once or if it did indeed loop through the number of iterations that you ex expected. With that, so that's a couple of examples from a debugging side, so testing and debugging, and now tuning. Uh, if I go in here and I've tested all these metrics, but then I go back in and I want to run another session file and have this collected to fire off these particular pieces here that have not been tested, I can actually go in to the tool and do what's called a merge. So that way I could actually go in and merge session files in with other session files. So I would have the ability to go in, create a merge file if I choose to, either create a new one or use an existing one and just browse to it and show you that and give you the ability to show 100% coverage for this method. So with that, <clears throat> now I can go in and see that all of this has been tested, or if I go in and run multiple sessions and I feel like I've exhausted my testing situation, and I've merged all these sessions together and I'm scrolling through and still finding spots like this, chunks of this purple code that's zero count as far as execution is concerned, well then I've actually automated the process of finding my dead code. So you can actually use this to pinpoint those spots, weed them out of the mix, making your code base smaller, thus making your code, your application, compile and execute faster. So there it helps with tuning, debugging, and testing. There's also a session summary. And then there's also the ability to go in and save the session file away from save as, export out to a raw XML, or use a HTML generating report tool within DevPartner to generate a session file or to generate an HTML report, I should say, breaking down the overall coverage so you can share that with management team leads, whoever would need to see that type of information. So that, again, is DevPartner's code coverage analysis. And again, what we looked at here was the ability to go in and create a session file to report back what percentage of your lines and methods have been executed and called and ways where you can drill into the code 
and help from a debugging, tuning, and testing perspective.